hello beautiful viewers and welcome to another smc tutorial and in this video we'll be discussing how to use the margin trade feature on the binance exchange so if you launch your binance exchange app and you go all the way to your wallets please make sure that in your spot wallet you have funded it with usdt now if you look at the top of your screen you see overview spot funding margin features earn now we have discussed a lot of all this and how to transfer funds from one place to another but today we are going to be talking about this section called the margin trading now in the margin trading your exchange being binance gives you the ability to borrow funds from them to be able to place trades now you can borrow across or you could use isolated positions now what does this mean in cross borrowing it means that whatever you borrow from binance be it um 3x that money can be used to place multiple trades across you know your portfolio which means you can use a thousand dollar borrowed funds to trade bnb btc whatever pair is available now if you choose isolated in isolated you can see that you can borrow up to 10x you can see it beside you can see how how many x's you can get now what this means is that you can only borrow and use on a particular pair so if you fund your uh, if you transfer funds to the isolated uh, positions it means that you are going to have the ability for example bnb slash usdt you can borrow 10x from binance and use to trade just bnb slash usdt Aside the cross feature, where if you borrow a thousand, you can use it to place trade on AGLD, Martich, and uh, the rest of the others. So um, we are going to go into the practical part of this video and show you how it works. Now to transfer funds from your spot to your margin, you just click on this transfer here. You can see it's already on cross margin now if you want to use cross margin you leave it like that if you wish to use isolated margin you change this cross to isolated margin but let's start with cross now i'll change this to usdt i remember i funded a hundred dollar worth of usdt and then i click max and then i confirm now transfer successful means that my funds has been moved from my spot balance to my margin balance now you can see it right here it appears hundred dollars on my cross margin balance and if i move to isolated you can see it's zero i do not have any funds there so go back to cross you can see that i have a hundred dollars there and i can borrow up to 3x my initial capital now what does this mean i can choose to click on borrow here and then i change this btc to usdt and then i want to borrow max which means binance is able to give me three times my money which means they can give me 200 dollars to add to the 100 dollars i have and then i click on confirm now it says request approve your balance has been updated now you can see that you now have 300 dollars you borrowed 200 dollars from your broker but this does not come at a price now if you go back to the borrow section look here it says hourly interest rate now for the usdt you borrow it says a one hour interest will accrue as soon as tokens are borrowed and it will continue to accrue every hour so it means every hour for the money you've borrowed from binance you're going to be owing them 0 0.0004 percent so now this means that whether i use this money or not whether i've placed any trades or not i am already in a debt of 0 0.0004 now having said all of that uh let's put this into practice all right so given that um i had just a hundred dollars and now i have the liberty to use three hundred dollars you can see that i have an edge so imagine that um let's say bnb's price is very low let's say bnb is at the price of 100 you can see that your 100 dollars would have bought you one bnb but now that you have 300 dollars you can buy three bnbs but what you need to know is that whatever comes at a benefit to you there's also a risk 
and that risk is your liquidation risk being that um binance borrowing you 200 dollars there is a price that if bnb drops to they are going to liquidate your position to get back their money now it's not as fast as futures but there's also risk of liquidating so if you head over to trade down here and you move from spot to margin you can see that you are on a cross section and you can see that you have an available balance down here of 300 usdt now normally it's supposed to be just 100 dollars but since you have borrowed you now have 300 usdt all right so now having said this to bnb slash usdt i have a 300 usdt balance and i can use all of that to buy but um you know when you use all of that to buy you add more risk so um if i had the plans of buying a hundred dollar usdt now i can afford to buy 150 dollars worth of bnb so that will give me 0 0.5 bnb now um, i can click on buy now once i click on buy now i move to my positions and i can see the 0 0.5 bnb that i have bought now if we go back to our wallet and go back to margin we can see it right here that we have got 0 0.51961 amount of um, bnb and that's what we have available all right so since we have 0 0.5 bnb left you can see that um up here it shows your risk level and um, for this trade i have a 1.49 moderate risk now like i said because you are borrowed out across your position um i still have like uh, 150 left because i used 150 to buy bnb so i can still go back to trade and uh, let's say i search for solana so solana slash usdt and um i want to buy 50 dollar worth of soul sorry i click on buy and i want to buy 50 dollar worth of soul i can buy it right you can see the beauty of a uh, margin because i've borrowed but um, my borrowed fund is being used across my entire portfolio so now you see i have soul and i have bnb if i head back to wallets and i refresh you can see i now have bnb and i have solana now because i have bought a total of 200 across my positions um it's a more risky trade but like i said it's not as um bad as futures because um right here if it's going against you you can always come back and sell but if it goes your way and for instance bnb flies to 500 dollars or solana flies to 100 dollars you can see that you've used your broker's money to make some gain for yourself and then you can just go sell that and uh, repay your very very little interest back to them so um how do you repay that's the big question now so i go back to trade and um, my solana position i close it entirely you remember i'm paying some little fees that's why um i'm being shortchanged and then i go back to my bnb position i search for bnb slash usdt i sell out max great so i head back to my margin wallet and then I want to repay my loan back now so I go to repay I change this to USDT and then I click on max now you can see I'm paying back $200 to Binance and my one hour interest rate is still zero USDT because you know obviously I didn't last up to an hour here and then um, I click on confirm repayment successful so if we go back check my balance it shows 99.13 uh let's take it or leave it that's a hundred dollars for me uh, because i paid a little little fees and um, maybe because of price fluctuations from everything that i bought so you can see this is how to use your cross margin feature on your binance so just to summarize the cross margin gives you the ability to borrow three times your initial capital from your exchange or your broker and then you can use that borrowed funds to trade across different portfolios bnb agld mortgage uh, apt whatever the case may be and then uh, you can actually make good profits or you can actually suffer liquidation if those prices go against you so always pay attention to your risk level and um, know when to enter and exit a market all right so on to the next one we'll talk about the isolated position